Greetings YouTube. This is Farmer Sign Prepping. Today we are down here at the creek. Uh, as you can tell, it is the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. And we're supposed to have some rain moving in at any point in time now. So I'm trying to get this video knocked out before that happens. Before we all have to go inside. Uh, I saw a video the other day. Um, Virginia Bushcrafter, I think, did a video on water. And I've done multiple videos on water. The dogs are behind me, y'all. So if you hear stuff walking through the water, it's the dogs. Uh, but uh, watching his video uh, brought up some things in my mind that I do not think I have covered. Uh, so uh, in addition to all my other water videos, or videos about water purification, storage, all that. In addition to all those, I would like to submit this. Uh, and watching uh, Virginia Bushcrafter's channel, or his video about water, actually got me to thinking about this. So, uh, let's just do this. Let me get y'all. Uh, how about this right here? Now I got you. Uh, so, I can't for the life of me remember what this is called, y'all. I think I've heard it called a coyote well or something like that. But, uh, you know, let's say that this water has got uh, moss and trash. And, uh, you know, you can't really get a cup in it that's so nasty. Let's just say that's what this is. And there's plenty of stuff in this water, y'all. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Show you down that way the creek that's where the creek kind of gets a little bit bigger got a little small channel right here so what if you're out in the outdoors and you don't have a pre-filter that's kind of where i'm talking about this right here uh i with my trusty folding shovel right here sorry uh my shadow's blocking everything uh, I, with my trusty folding shovel here, have dug, I think, what's called a coyote well, sun. I hate the sun, shadows. Uh, so I dug this about uh, 10 minutes ago. And as you can see, some of the water is starting to filter into this hole. Uh, the sand and the clay or whatever type of soil that you have you can dig a hole close to the creek see we're not there may be two or three feet from the creek itself dig a hole in the sand and the rocks what are you doing son go on now uh, the sand and the rocks will filter out a lot of the particulate for you of course we're gonna get video now rocky walking in the water and planes going over yay Dogs love to explore. So, uh, whatever you want to call this, I think I've heard it called a coyote well or something, whatever it's called in the books. Uh, this is one way to pre-filter your water. Of course, you would want to make your hole big enough to get your cup down in. I didn't really make this one big enough to get my cup down into. But, uh, so that's something to keep in mind if you ever need to do this. Make it big enough to get your cup into. Uh, so I wanted to talk about that. And uh, I wanted to talk about, you know, after SHTF happens, uh, there'll be rumors of stuff, y'all. And, uh, you know, let's say you're new to this area. You don't know nothing about this creek. You're from Salmon, Alabama. Let's say you're from uh ohio or somewhere new york whatever and you recently moved to get out of the slum lords you know up there and moved down here you don't know nothing about this water you don't know nothing about this creek uh and a lot of times this water is actually moving i know y'all can see that uh, there is a slight current down through here this comes from the river where i'm at uh, but a lot of times you'll find you'll you'll be 
out on the trail or hiking or you'll whatever you'll walk up on stagnant pools of water stagnant pools um they can be good they can be bad sometimes stagnant pools of water uh can be poisonous they can be they can be bad if water doesn't move it's not getting filtered and uh anyhow what i was wanting to bring to light here uh, if you have a suspicion that the water may be poisoned in some way or if you have a suspicion that the water is stagnant and may not be suitable uh, I mean not all this this water is potable after you boil it or filter it this water is fine but uh, it's not potable straight out of the creek there's just too many people around here now I used to drink out of this creek when I was a kid but that was 40 years ago times have changed so um indeed so um what are some ways you can tell if water is good uh what are some ways you can tell if if nothing i'm trying to get this out y'all what are some ways you can tell if water or is not poisoned that's the kind of stuff i want to talk about in this video so what how would you tell um one way, and I've read this in books as well, one way you can tell, y'all, is you watch. Uh, look at the water. You know, take some time. Watch it. Yeah, I know. You're going to sleep. Farmer son, you know, went off the deep end. Look for signs of life. Are there minnows in the water? Are there crawdads in the water or crawfish, depending upon where you're from? Uh, you know... Watch the wildlife or deer coming down and drinking out of this water. Another plane, y'all. I don't know. We've been having a lot of aircraft here recently. A lot of choppers as well. So, are, are, are wildlife coming down? Coons, raccoons, possums. Do you see other animals using this water? Those are all good signs. Those can tell you important things about a water source. So, I just wanted to uh, bring that to y'all. My dogs just insist on being in every shot, y'all. Uh, let me get you back over here on the tripod and sum all this up for you. Let me see here. I'm, whoops, I got you pointed in the wrong direction. Sorry, y'all. That'll work. So... That's kind of some of the information I wanted to bring to you today. Uh, something to think about if you're ever in a foreign place and you don't know nothing about a water source or, or maybe perhaps you come up on a stagnant pool of water, that type of thing. How's this thing pulled? I'm learning it. There we go. Pull and shovel. Uh, So those are some things I thought about while I was watching Virginia Bushcrafter do his water video. Uh, so I wanted to bring those to you. Y'all go check out the Virginia Bushcrafter. He's got a good channel over there. Sub him up. Tell him FSP sent you. Uh, he's got some good videos over there. Good information. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. I hope you all have a blessed Thanksgiving this may not air before Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving. Uh, y'all have a blessed day. This is Farmer Son Prepping. We'll check y'all later.